Hello, uh, in this video we'll see how to create the contacts and how to work with the contacts. Uh, this is the first screen that you see when you log into the software. Now when I go to the contact manager I would see all the contacts in this uh, uh, software uh, uploaded or imported or created. So let's create a contact first. How do we create the contact? We can create the contact by, uh, in uh, contact manager we can also create when we create a case we can also create a contact when we create an inquiry let's see let's see all three scenarios first i'm clicking on the contact manager and i go here when i click on the contact manager this is what the screen looks like you'll see all the contacts that you have created and also add contact option here and you also see different things here which are uh, like you know if the contacts that you have in your list if they have portal access or have no portal access and you see the counts and uh, if they are uh, like what uh, what type of contact they are like 85 petitioners have portal access whereas 58 do not and that is how you uh, control their access okay so let's create a contact here um, you can create a contact by clicking on this and selecting the type of user company and uh, if they have the email you can provide the email if they have no email you can generate the email by clicking on this let's take uh, like i'm going to create a petitioner or we can create an applicant doesn't matter when you create an applicant you have another option to select a petitioner to tie this applicant to if you do not have a petitioner you can select no petitioner needed so this applicant is independent or has no relationship with petitioner of any kind in the system so whichever way you want you can do that now contact is someone who is not a petitioner or applicant or you do not know at this time whether that person is applicant or petitioner but somebody who called to inquire something and you can create a contact as plain contact and then you can convert that to an applicant or petitioner at later time okay so those are the three type of users so let's create a contact like what we have here all we do is we put in a first name and a last name and then if the person has the email you can enter the email if the person doesn't have the email you can generate the email and this is the email which is going to stay in the system and is not going to go out anywhere but we need an email to tie all the contacts cases everything related to this particular contact uh, and keep that contact unique in the system okay uh, you can add a phone number if you want uh, I'm gonna just add a dummy phone number here and if you want to add notes you can if you want to add an address you can uh, how uh, it is super simple you just select you don't have to enter everything like let's say you have uh, like you know you know the basic address just start typing the first uh, couple uh, letters of that address and you'll see the different options you have you just select and it will automatically populate so we try making data entry as simple as possible for you okay and you can take the notes as well this is how you create the contact okay thank you very much